The bloody brawl between rival biker gangs in the southern U.S. state of Texas made headlines over the weekend with nine deaths and 18 injuries. The fight is just the tip of the iceberg. Whether it's white-on-black violence or white-on-white crime, all tragedies point to an underlying social problem in the United States, rampant gang violence. By one estimate, 55% of murders in the country last year were linked to gangs. Police and gang-plagued cities have been using an array of tactics trying to clamp down on such a scourge. However, one important factor is missing, stricter gun control legislation. With limited access to guns, gangs would become less violent and less lethal. Japan has the lowest gun homicide rate in the world at 1 in 10 million people. It has in place highly restrictive firearms regulations. Most guns in the country are illegal. The United Kingdom, banning all handguns with few exceptions, also saw a sharp reduction in homicide rates. It's no wonder the United States, with 300 million guns in circulation, has a murder rate several times that of other Western countries. High gun ownership is also blamed for the excessive use of force by U.S. law enforcement. If there are fewer firearms, the picture would be different. Unfortunately, the U.S. government is hamstrung by bipartisan gridlock. It's too effete to take action against powerful gun lobbying groups. Gun lobbyists hold considerable sway over lawmakers. Even the slightest change in gun control legislation would meet the most adamant opposition. However, Americans deserve safer and violence-free communities. This requires a drastic change in its politically correct gun policy, something that is long overdue.